Do you find it difficult to pray without ceasing, as instructed in 1 Thessalonians? I know I do, but there is this beautiful Marian devotion that can help break up the day. Stay tuned to find out what devotion this is. Hello and welcome to America Needs Fatima. I'm Nick Brigham and be sure to hit subscribe and also to click the notification bell to never miss out on another story of Mary. One of the reasons why I personally pray the Angelus is for all the souls of my relatives and loved ones who may be stuck in purgatory. It brings me a lot of joy to know that with a simple daily prayer, I can reach out and comfort them and even shorten their time spent there before they enter the kingdom of heaven. If you have any loved ones that you would like help praying for, take a look at the link I've left below and consider signing up for our Holy Souls Pledge. More on this towards the end of the video. The devotion we're talking about today is the Angelus. And a little history about the Angelus is that it begins at the Annunciation, when Our Lady's fiat, her faith, became the hope for all humanity. In honor of Mary's fiat, the Church established the Angelus, but it wasn't in its current form until the first part of the 16th century. Before the establishment of the Angelus, there is a medieval tradition in the 12th century of a triple Hail Mary that was prayed in the evening. And it became very popular, so much so that St. Anthony of Padua strongly recommended it. In the 13th century, a century after St. Anthony in the 12th, St. Bonaventure, also a Franciscan, had his friars pray the Triple Hail Mary after, or at, sorry, not after, at Compline, which is a part of the Liturgy of the Hours. It's how you prayed as a monastic. And there would be a bell rung beforehand to tell the community that it was time to pray this prayer. In different parts of Europe, the Angelus was said in morning and at noon. And it wasn't until Pope Sixtus in the 15th century, Pope Sixtus IV, established the indulgence of praying the Angelus at noon. And the indulgence, of course, is the remission, the temporal remission of punishment due to to our sins. In the 16th century, so one century after the 15th, Pope Leo X extended the indulgence for praying the Angelus for morning, noon, and in the evening. Because typically the Angelus is prayed at 6 a.m., 12 noon, and 6 p.m. So what happens when we're in a different liturgical season? Like Easter, from Easter Sunday to Pentecost, instead of the Angelus, we do the Regina Celli, which is the Queen of Heaven. That gets said in place of the Angelus. So let us now pray the Angelus together. Let us begin first by ringing the bell to signal the start of this beautiful prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared to Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me in prayer. So, we just got done praying the Angelus. And the Angelus is so important to myself because it helps to sanctify the day into three parts. 6 a.m., noon, and 6 p.m. And it helps to sanctify us in the way of the Trinity because there's three moments where you pray this. It helps to focus us three times on remembering who our Creator is. And the Angelus should always remind us to stop and focus, or sometimes refocus, on God. And one of the best ways I've found of focusing on God is by committing to a Holy Soul's Pledge. It's an easy way for me to help the holy souls in purgatory. And I know that when my time comes, these souls that I've helped will also be praying for me. All you need to do to enter a holy pledge is to click the link below and agree to pray whatever prayer you want, however many times you want, every day. This means that you could simply commit to praying one single Hail Mary every day and still help out the, the souls of lost loved ones in purgatory. Pledging is absolutely free, so click on the link below to find out more. Did you know that love, great love of one's country, is a virtue? Let's talk about this next time. May God bless you, and may Mary Immaculate keep you under her mantle. See you next time.